Hello everyone, my name is Arun Srivastava and in today's lecture we are going to discuss about gravitation. Just like in kinematics and laws of motion, we study about the motion of object around us, their acceleration, displacement, etc. Similarly, in gravitation chapter, we are going to study about motion of planets. So, there was a scientist named Tycho Brahe. who researched for around 30 years and his colleague or his assistant known as Kepler. Kepler combined Tycho Brahe's 30 years data into three laws which deals with law of planetary motion. So just like in laws of motion, we study about the object motion, first law, second law and third law. Similarly, Kepler laws deals with planetary motion. Here also, first law is known as law of orbits. Here laws are different not like Newton's first law, second law, third law. Second law is known as law of areas and third law deals with time period of the planet around the sun or known as law of periods. So just like in laws of motion, there are three laws, first law, second law regarding momentum, third law, action reaction law. Here also in planetary motion, we deal with law of orbit. That is, this law deals with the around which orbit planet revolves. That is what is the, what is the path of the orbit. Actually, it is, it says that planet revolves around an elliptical orbit. Now, let's first discuss about ellipse, then we will go into these laws. Just like a circle, circle has one center, similarly in ellipse, we have two points which are known as focus F1 and F2. Actually ellipse can be made with if we take a nut nut bolt and tie a thread then take a marker and stretch it revolve it then what shape you get is known as ellipse shape so these focus represent these nuts now this axis is called this is longer one so this is known as major axis this is the shorter one it is known as minor axis we need only these two points semi major axis half of major axis semi minor axis half of minor axis
Now let's discuss first law. First, I am going to write a statement that is planets revolve in an elliptical orbit around sun at one of focus that is planets revolve suppose this is a planet sun may be at f1 or may be at f2 planets revolve in this orbit with sun being at one of the focus it might be at f1 for some planet it might be at f1 for another planet it might be at f2 so that's all about the first law now what second law tells it is law of areas first we are discussing second law let's draw an ellipse take s for sun and this is a planet p suppose say in time t1 planet move from p to p dash in same time now planet covers this path in some time interval now at some instant say at point a in time t1 planet move from a to a dash say from p to b p dash it takes 2 second from a to a dash it also takes 2 second that is time interval are seen here and here now join these lines this area it is say a1 and here this area say a2 so what second law tells us that in equal time interval area swept by the planet with the sun is same though here we can we can see that this area is not equal to this area so some geometrical as we this is not a scaled diagram but this law is important its proof you will study in higher classes that is in class 11 so we can write area swept by the planet in equal time intervals remains same.